Hi there. Let's learn how to use get and sister activity in UiPath. For this, to understand the get and sister activity, I have taken the rpachallenge.com as the website and I'm going to quickly run the workflow and I want to retrieve the parent ID of this UI element the user interface element so let me see if i can get the parent id you can see the pid i have mentioned and i'm going to explain you over it as to how to utilize the get ancestor activity just after this demo so let's wait and it's going to take the okay so it has got me the parent id of this ui element which is 8868 okay so what is get ancestor activity and how to use that let's learn myself rakesh from uipath expo hub channel guys we have made and built lot many playlist for you to select the individual topics of your choice and go through them this becomes quite easy when you see a demonstration and try to learn so that's that's what our motive of this channel please do join our channel and help us and support us by liking the videos with that note let's get started so what I'm doing here, let's get started from the beginning and I'm going to use the activity called get ancestor. Okay, so once you have this ancestor, get ancestor, the job of this one, if you highlight, it retrieves an ancestor of a specified UI element, that means parent. So if I am a child, my parent ID or my parent name become, the, they are the ancestors, my parents, parents become um, the ancestors right very simple meaning so how do you get the information about your ancestors is the job of get ancestor activity okay now for this what you do open the rpachallenge.com this you can try on applications on web pages anything you need but first of all let's learn it right so for that i'm making it simple i am using the rpachallenge.com website so here what i'm going to do i'll click on indicate on screen and I'm going to highlight the submit button you can try with any of this okay any UI element not necessarily this one but for this example let me take submit okay so this becomes a UI element now I want to get the parent ID so for that what you do on your UiPath studio open UI Explorer okay so once you open UI Explorer what you do click on indicate element and highlight the submit button so why i am saying ui uh, ui explorer just to understand and see what is the parent id so the moment you select on the left hand side on the visual tree you will find it will be there will be something auto highlighted okay so the input box the you can see the input type equals to submit so this is automatically highlighted so his parent will be this one right this is the parent uh, these are the ancestors if you go up and up and up these are the ancestors now if you select let's say this one if you select this particular one div one and let's see what is the parent id okay the parent id is pid parent class is this uh, parent id is 8868 so every ui element will have a parent id okay so the parent id is 8868 so this is an indication for you so this this is the parent this is the next parent this is the next parent right each layer is a parent so this parent so like that you can find the information about the parent id okay so let's see so you got to see how the parent or the ancestor information is pulled using ui explorer it's a visual indication for you to understand what becomes the parent id right so you can just highlight one of it and then try to see the parent id so parent id is 8 so so if i go up let's say if i go to form even the parent the parent of all of these children remains the same 8860 so let's see if i can pull the parent id using ancestor get get ancestor activity so get ancestor activity i have pulled in i have highlight the specific ui element now on the right hand side what i need to do all i have to do is in the output panel here in the ancestor you have to declare a variable so let's see you can click on control plus k and you can create a variable let's say i am saying a n c i have created a variable so you should actually write the entire name but for demo purpose i'm simply writing a n c okay now what i have to do there is another activity called get attribute so this has to be used in conjunction with this one so that it will quite easy to for us to retrieve the parent id so get attribute what this will do here your output is ancestor right a n c is your variable which is containing the details of the ancestors so what i'm going to do in the get attribute activity 
here there will be something called element and this takes the ui element and the variable which you have created anc if you go to your variable panel you will see this anc variable is nothing but a ui element type data type okay so that is the reason in the get attribute activity that i have pulled next here the in the input here i will make this as the input so i am making anc as the input getting it after that here what you do what do you need so there are a uh, single uh, ui element will have so many things a name it will have a state app if you see any ui element that you are selecting this has got so many different properties outer text inner text pid position um, so many in right inner text uh, hwnd um, there are so many attributes which are there of a single user interface element so out of all of this what i wanted to pull is the parent id okay so all i have to do is and this this will have the all, all the list so i am going to select the parent id okay so i have have the parent id so id is a number and this has to go to an out, output so all you do control plus k and i am saying pid let's say the output is pid for the get attribute activity and all you have to do go to the variable panel and here it is string right just change it to so depending on the kind of data you are retrieving let's say you are retrieving string value then keep it string if you are retrieving an id number then make it integer so depending on your need okay so once i have done that i want to see the output so to see the output for experiment purpose we will be using a message box and in this message box all i have to do is i have to simply say pid which is a integer kind of a data dot to string i will say so that it will convert it to string and show you the value in the message box message box is a string type right okay so once i have done this all i have to do is just run it and keep your page at the background okay so it started working and you can see it has it is able to pull the 8868 which is the correct number if we check against the ui explorer right if we go to the ui explorer the parent id is exactly 8868 okay guys so i hope this video must have helped you uh, in case you are you are searching for get ancestor activity and you are not able to get a proper video so i think this could help you a lot Thank you very much and do not forget to hit on the like button. Please do continue to support us. Your support by hitting a like button would help us. Thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful day.